Now we're ready to make the index page. And the index.html, that's always the name that you give your um, home page index because if you upload it to a server, the server looks for the name index. Now you may have noticed that if you double click on layout, it opens it as a web page. Okay? And we don't actually want the web page open. We want to open it in text edit. So you'll need to control click, choose open with, text edit. If you had text edit open already, then you could have simply drug it in there. Um, I do also want to point out that the font does not affect what you see in your browser. I'm simply changing the font to make it easier for you to see. Now once I get layout open, the first thing I want to do is I want to duplicate. Okay, because I'm making two of these. So this one here, I'm going to close and I guess I have to change my font again on this one too. Give me a second. Arial and 18. There, now it's bigger and I'll leave it open down there. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to add the contents for our index page. And I'm going to go ahead and do a file save and I'm going to call this index.html use HTML and it's going to show up down here. Okay, and here inside the div between the two div tags, I'm going to add the title or the heading of our page, which is going to be the bookworm. Whoops. And I'm going to put a better book store. Now, I do want to point out that creating a web page is very similar to writing a paper. Um, you need to, not only does it matter what your tags uh, that your tags are spelled correctly, but your text, your content, that's what people are looking for. And if you don't spell it correctly, they're going to go find their information somewhere else. And if you're a company and you have things misspelled, they're probably not going to do business with you. Okay? So it's a good practice to save, and you can use the keyboard shortcut Command S and check it in the browser often so that you can see what your page looks like. So here we have that uh, title or that heading. Now I want it to be bigger than what it is and there's multiple ways to do it. I could put in a font tag, I could add a cascading style sheet or style to, to specify, but I can also add what are called headings and the headings I can simply put in an H for heading and then the size with one being the biggest and five being the smallest and I would open it and close it and when I do that you can see that it automatically bolds and makes bigger my heading okay and you'll see that after this after we uh, I put some text here it automatically puts a space, like a, almost like a paragraph break, under that as well. Okay, so there's the heading of our site. Now, typically, we also want to put our navigation, or meaning the links to all the different pages, in the same place on every single page within a website. That way, it is consistent. It may be just below the top, uh, heading, like this or maybe on the side of the page, or maybe they have multiple places for it, okay? But we're going to go ahead and put that here. So I'm going to start by just typing, and I'm going to say about the bookworm. That's going to be or actually about the bookworm bookshop. And just to separate the stuff, I'm going to use this straight line. And I have to hold down Shift, and it's right above the return key to get that straight line. The next one is going to be recent titles, another straight line, and the last one is going to be upcoming events. Okay, so this is going to be the 
links that are on every single page. So I'm going to save and I'm going to refresh so that I can see what it looks like. Now we can see the blank line. Okay. Now it's not a, um, it, they're not links yet. We actually have to put in tags to make them links. So I'm going to do that right here. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and put these on separate lines now. It's not going to affect what it's seen here because remember spacing doesn't matter. But it's going to help us be able to edit because all of my tags are going to be over on the left. So I'm going to put in the anchor tag. And remember that it doesn't work by itself. I have to put in the attribute hypertext reference and then the value. And the value in this case is going to be a web page that is going to be located in our website. And we are going to call this page about.html, or that's what we're going to save it as, rather. And so this is the tag that when we click on this will take us to that page. Now, after the word bookshop, I'm going to close that with the closing anchor tag. I do want to point out that when you open a tag, it can have all sorts of attributes in it, but when you close it, it only has the tag. Okay? So once again, I'm going to do a href for hypertext reference equals and the name of the file is going to be recent.html. Then I'm going to close with an anchor tag. And the last one is going to be events.html. And again, close it with an anchor tag. And now when I save and refresh, I should see the blue underline showing me that they're links. Now, if I clicked on it, nothing's going to happen. And that's because I don't actually have those pages created yet. Okay? So they're created now, though. And I will be able to easily copy and paste them into the other pages of the site when the time comes. Now, after the... Um, after the navigation, I want to put in a tag, and this one is a single tag, and it's an HR. It stands for horizontal rule. And the horizontal rule simply puts a line across the page. It helps separate parts of your page. Now, because it's inside the div, notice it doesn't go all the way across the page. It just goes across the div. Okay? Now, we are going to put in an image and the image we are going to put in is this one here book.gif and I'm going to do that with the image tag IMG stands for image by itself it does nothing so I have to put the attribute SRC which stands for source and I'm going to go ahead and type in book.gif and it does require that you put the file extension okay so you have to know whether it's a JPEG a GIF file or whatever to make sure it fits now if I save this and hit refresh I get the little broken image okay and the reason is right here my index page is looking for book.gif but it doesn't see it and that's because we did not specify that it needed to go inside the images folder to look for it so if I put after that first quote, I put images slash and then the file name and save it. Now the image will be there. Okay. So it's always important to lay out your folder hierarchy first so that you know what kind of tags you need to go in there. Now we're going to put some text that we want to line up to the right of the image. Okay? So if I type in old books are best, how tail and rhyme float with us down the stream of time. And that's simply a quote from a book. I don't remember what. 
Um, and if I save it and refresh, it goes down here. Now, let's say we want it to appear more in the middle. We would have to use an attribute in our image tag. And that attribute is a line. And then, of course, we have to give it a value. So if I typed in a line equals left, the image goes to the left. And then the text starts at the top. If I put in a line equals right, then the image is going to go to the right. But if I want the text to kind of line up in the middle of the image, I can type in a line equals middle and hit refresh, and then that's where it goes. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there because that's where I want it. And then we're going to put in one more piece of text. It's going to say, come check out our new releases at the Bookworm Bookshop. And notice that I am capitalizing that because that's the name of the company. At, and then I'm going to hit return, and I'm going to type the address, 1345 Applewood Drive, Springfield, California, 94325. Okay, now if I save and refresh, I want you to notice that even though I hit return in some places, the text just continues to flow. So I've got to start because I want this to show up below the book. So I want to put in a paragraph tag. And if I do that and hit refresh, then that's coming down there. Now, I also want, after this, I want a BR tag, which stands for line break. And I want, I don't want there to be a blank line like there was between here or here. I want these three to be one right on top of the other. So now I'm going to save and I'm going to hit refresh and now I have that lined up the way that I want. Go ahead and make sure you save. Make sure that you double check what your um, everything on your page for spelling errors as well as coding errors and then move on to the next video.